All right, it, I hope this windscreen works. I got a new mic. Uh, that's not. I forgot the car keys. Uh huh. Damn it! Come on. I'm sitting here. I'm lazy. Okay. There they are. All right. After that little mishap, we're back. <laughs> All right. I actually have the keys now. I think. <laughs> Roundabout. <laughs> uh, I'm from Massachusetts and it's a rotary, thank you. you yeah, no, it's definitely a rotary. Okay, so we made it to what is known as Clam Bayou. Apparently I say it wrong, but um. Bayou. Gonna... Bayou. 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 That's what I say. Say Bayou. Yeah, it's over by you. You got my tomatoes? No, oh, I don't. No, I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a bite to eat, and then we're gonna do some magnet fishing. Cause there's, there are one, two kayak drops, so I'm guessing that people are going to be dropping things in the water because people are idiots and clumsy. Are you describing people or me? You. <laughs> Pub subs, easily the best wraps. Sponsored by Publix. <laughs> I wish. Hello? Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four, one, five. Red Bull, please sponsor me. Sponsor me, please. So, off of Amazon, I ordered this ma neodymium magnet. I guess it can hold like 800 pounds, it says. But I doubt it, because like you can just like pull it off a of metal. But maybe if it's like flush to a metal surface. Why did you do that? Why would you? You just got <laughs> stuck to the pole. I did. Seriously. So this idiot right here went and stuck the f magnet to the pole, and you can't pull it. If you know anything about magnets, you can't pull straight because that's the most force out of a magnet you're gonna get. So you can't pull it straight off. You have to slide it off. And look at, like scratched the metal pole. Throw it at ice clips. Oh god. I'm destructive. Yes, you are. Yeah, so I ordered this magnet kit. It came with the magnet, a 30-foot line, I think, a 30-foot foot rope, and then a grappling hook and some gloves. So I've already tried it out a couple times. I actually found somebody's knife on campus. Um, they didn't want it back. Like a fishing knife. Yeah, a fishing knife. Not like a hunting knife or something, just like a little fillet bait knife. It's, it's cool. So we're going to... we're. Bobby. Look at him run! She gets... She, she gets distracted easily. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're gonna give this a shot. The tide will wash things, too. Yeah, the tide might wash things away, too. Um, but I, the videos that I have seen on YouTube, they have, um, people, like, you bounce the magnet up and down on the sediment so it kind of gets set into it a little bit so you can go below what, if you drop something, what it would sit on. Um, I don't know the technique. I'm all new to this, so if you're a magnet fishing channel or whatever and you're watching this please let me know in the comments what strategies and techniques you guys use because I'm open to trying everything if you're watching this and you're like somebody who follows me on YouTube let me know in the comments so I know who the real G's are because I know my semester videos are those are the popular ones but then most, most everything else that I've released which hasn't been too much I admit sadly I plan to release more out in the future like this but um, my vlogs aren't as popular and the semester videos are what's most popular so if you're here for things other than the semester videos, let me know. I got the, I got the movies. Why does this happen to all girls when you feed them? <laughs> it's called a happy belly dance. A happy belly dance? Happy belly dance. My, my belly's happy because it's got food in it. This nutritious salad from Publix. We love Secret, Publix. if your girl's ever mad, just feed her. 
Okay, so this is, oh, what is this? The tide looks pretty low right now. It's very muddy, as you can see. But um, this is like a little lookout area. Um, the kayak drop is right there, so I'm thinking we kind of go off each side like that and go around the back, do a U-shape. Um, it's pretty shallow, actually, so. The thing is, I think that if people drop something of value, they're just going to jump in right after it and try to find it themselves. But for the people who have a lot to lose and just drop things willy-nilly, I found mostly fish hooks so far. I found three fish hooks, two or three fish hooks. Um, don't cut the line. Don't cut the line. Yes, that is good advice. If you drop your fishing hook, if you can, please retrieve it. I know there's some cases where you can't and it's near impossible, but if you absolutely have the opportunity, do not cut the line. All right, so she's gonna hold the camera while I do this. Do I'm gonna do, do what? Do you wanna try this? No, no, I'll hold the camera. Okay. You'll trust me with your camera? Yes, two hands though. So it's not that deep really, at all. Like it's, like the water right here, you can see the bottom right there. It's maybe that deep. It comes just up to my knees, if that. Oh, there's a crab right there eating something. Where's the crab? He just <laughs> ran away. That pure on DeSoto. There's a pier at Fort DeSoto, which is near here as well. Um, the fishing pier, I'm sure that would have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> So we're going to the other spot though. That one was a lot shallower than I thought and we had no luck there. Hopefully this spot will have some luck. What are you doing? Putting my phone in your phone. Don't put your phone back there. Oh. <laughs> Cause the magnet's back there and you might wipe your phone. Okay, you can put it there. I don't have pockets. You do. These are so loose they'll fall out. Oh, okay. It's falling out twice. Oh. We'll just leave it on the dock when we get there though. That's a little where those bikers are. It uh, goes out there and it's on a peninsula. Pal palin peninsula. 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 Um, so hopefully that'll yield a little bit more. Um, we could try it here. We'll try it here on the way out. Because there's this. I don't know how many people would have dropped things off the side of there. But it's more like where people get in and out of the water that you'll find more stuff. But again. I'm not good with this magnet technique, so maybe I'm doing it completely wrong. Maybe I even need a bigger magnet. Who knows? Because I've only I found two two hooks. I found two hooks and a fillet knife, and that's it. That is all I found so far. Maybe people just aren't as clumsy as you think they are. Yeah, I guess I gotta give people more credit. But actually, no. I did find something else. I found this weird. Um, clamp it looked like you know when um, in the cities when people boot your tire like when the cops boot your tires mm -hmm. it looked like something like that but it was too small to be that so I don't know what it was it looked like a pair of tongs but with like two suction cups instead of like the grabby thingies so if any of you know what that is by my terrible description let me know so this is the other spot right here So right there is where I was thinking. See, it's a little, it's a bit more drop off -y. Oh, there's a cage right there of something. I'll try to get that. I got the crate. I guess there's some rebar right there. Ooh, it doesn't smell great though. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? Somebody else. There's some hammer crabs on it. Somebody. 
That is an awful smell. Holy crap. That is not a good smell. Put that back in the water, pen. I don't want to leave it there because Somebody, uh, somebody's baiting it though, so I think it is active. <laughs> that smells awful. <laughs> well, the magnet works. I think the fox should know that I think he's cute. Me? <laughs> Usually, what, what, what kind of things do you get caught here? All right, so we didn't have much light. Ooh, the lens is all covered in salt. That's not good. Um, so, didn't have any luck there other than that cage that we pulled up. Um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that because I'm. I was thinking there was gonna be a lot more, but you know, I guess sometimes you miss out. So we're gonna try that last spot that while we were walking here we passed. Um, doubt there's gonna be anything there though because I don't know what else there would be there <sighs> oh, that knocked it over I don't let's see if that is a piece of water. I think it's plastic Plastic. Disgusting. Disgusting. Get your grappling hook. And death to all plastic levers. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it stuck though if it's completely. Yeah, also the substrate of this is a, is very there's a lot of shells and old oysters. So the tide would come in and out and then oysters would cover whatever's been dropped, so I didn't really have high expectations for this spot. Okay, when I do that, I get in trouble, but when he does that... I know what's metal and what's going to stick and what's not. Uh-huh. This is aluminum. That was steel. Uh-huh. My head hurts. Can you take a nap? Sure. Well, you can take a nap. You can take a nap. I love naps. Who else loves naps? Hey, grab your drink. I want my drink. I'm not carrying it. You don't have to put up with YouTube. He doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the case. <laughs> Who bought you that drink? It was 99 cents. Alright, um, so you know what, I think if we have, if I have more content from later today, I'll throw that in here, but I think that's going to cut it for now, because we're done at this spot, there's not much else. Where'd the keys go? Did you lose the car keys again? No, I put them in the bag. <laughs> I'm, gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm not walking back to Eckerd. Oh, uh, would that be the worst though? Yes! I'd walk back and then get the keys for you and board back. Aw, how sweet. No, okay. I do Bruce back. Okay, I lied. He's sweet. He does things for me. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is going to call it. I'm going to call it for now just because I don't really have much else to... I don't know what else we're going to do today. If I, again, if I have any content from... Oh, I do have content. Never mind. It's not going to end here. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the shrimp because I have to shri put shrimp in my tank. To so, the pet store! Yeah, so right now we're gonna go get um, fish. No, shrimp. No, and you're not I'm gonna not get I'm not allowed to get any. She's fish. not allowed to get fish. But we're gonna go to a pet supermarket, uh, grab me some more shrimp for my no filter um, tank. If you guys are interested, I can live do more tank. No live tank. Live tank. No filter live tank. It's got plants and shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you guys are interested in me doing videos on that, I can do some videos on that. Uh, just let me know down below. Um, hit that subscribe button too. Classic YouTuber line. 
But um, yeah, we're gonna go to Pet Supermarket and grab those right now. All right, so we just picked up those guppies. Oh yeah, so we got two, a male and a female guppy, and then we got a fiddler crab for the tank. Tell them your names. Uh, we named them, that's Dan, that's Stan, and that's Jan. I think Johnson's a good name, but he said no. Yeah, no. <gasps> He's Bailey! Hi! Hi, Bailey! <laughs> I would touch you. Oh, why are you being scared again? He was scared. <laughs> He's scared of Matt. He's so bad. <laughs> Matt probably deserves it, though. <laughs> okay, so I finished the fish tank, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have two guppies right there, male and female, so we're hoping that they start breeding. So we also have a fiddler crab right there who's constantly trying to escape. We just got that one today, too. And then there's a... Lastly, there's another guppy in there somewhere. I'm not sure where he went. Or she. But... And then at night, all these planaria come out, I, so we think that's what they are. But nobody's quite sure. I just trimmed up the plants right there so they weren't coming out of the water. They're actually doing pretty well. The I don't know what, any, I'm new to all this stuff, so I don't know what any of this stuff is called. But um, that was starting to die off, so I cleaned that up. There used to be up plants growing from like here all the way up the side, but we got rid of those because they were just taking up too much space. But um, overall, it's doing okay. All right, so that's where I'm gonna cut it now because that's all the content that I have for today. There's not much else that's going on. So, I'll catch you in the next video. If it's another vlog, it might be something else. We'll see. Stay tuned.